Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another new releases video for you guys. And for this week's new releases, I wanted to go ahead and bring something different to my budget kit format as well as a new size that I'm going to be offering from now on in my shop. These are requests that you guys have been giving me. And as always, I love when you guys send me requests or suggestions for new stickers that I can incorporate in my Etsy sticker shop. So thank you so much to everybody who always gives me suggestions for new stickers to come out with. For this new releases, unfortunately, we won't be having any of the cute decorative stickers just because I want wanted to mainly focus on format for this week but if you have any suggestions like always you guys can go ahead and just comment them down below or send my message on my Etsy okay so let's go ahead and just dive right in there's not too too many things I think you guys will definitely be excited I'm going to go ahead and just bring all of my budget kits here because I did change this. A lot of you guys love my budget kits but also can incorporate it really with the way that you budget because you have mentioned to me that you don't split your variable and fixed expenses. As you guys know my budgets prior to this did have your bills separate so i would have my variable expenses on one side and my fixed expenses on the other side if you guys are familiar with my etsy shop you guys know that but a lot of you guys have requested for me to sort of put all of my bills and expenses together so that's just what i did for this new releases this is just another option so i'm not taking away the other um, format of my budget kits this is just another option that i'm bringing to my shop so now you guys will be able to choose whether you want your expenses separated by variable and fixed or you guys can just have them all together like this so this is how um, the rest of the kit looks exactly the same it's just these two that are different now so now you have your bill your bills slash expenses your budget actual and your variance i was going to do it exactly like my paycheck to paycheck budgets are which you guys know that those header includes a due date but i thought that i just wouldn't do it for the monthly view because it is for your monthly budget so i decided to just do the bills and expenses budget actual and the variance i think this is going to make a lot of you guys happy because you guys have definitely been requesting for me to sort of change that format for you guys but once again i'm not going to be taking out my other kits this is just going to be another option that you guys will be able to choose from so i will be changing all the listings so you guys are able to choose which one you want whether you want your expenses together or if you want them separated by variable and fixed Okay, so this is just how the 7 by 9 looks like for the brush strokes, same thing for the flower print. And then I just wanted to go ahead and quickly show you guys the bigger ones. This is for the 8.5 by 11 deluxe monthly planner sized. As you guys can see, change these two for the brush strokes and for the flowers sort of print. Now I did the same exact thing with all of my May budget kits. So once again, just quickly, as you guys can see, this is the gingham the marble print and the floral print so as you guys can see all the expenses are together now and same exact thing with my bigger ones but that's so that's just a quick change that i did want to go ahead and bring to my shop because a lot of you guys were requesting for me to do that so although it is a small change i didn't want to go ahead and print them on every single kit that i am going to be offering this um sort of thing for so i'm not offering it for march because i just think it's a little bit too late for march but i definitely offering it for april and may okay next the new releases that i'm super excited about because this is something that you guys have definitely been asking me for is i am bringing a new size to my stickers and that size is going to be for the erin condren petite monthly planner as you guys know i recently hauled this in one of my videos and i talked about how a lot of you guys have been requesting if i'm ever going to be coming out with my stickers for this size a lot of you guys have also asked me if I'm going to be coming out with A5 stickers. So I went ahead and made these stickers the size that they'll fit in both the Erin Condren Petite Monthly Planner as well as A5 um, paper. I did have a couple of people requesting and somebody even actually helped me out with the measurements for A5. So I made it so it's between A5 and this one. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how that looks like right after I show you the stickers. So as you guys can see, I made every single sticker that I have um, in the smaller size. And this is just a comparison for you guys let me see let me get a budget kit so this is the difference from the 7x9 Erin Condren deluxe monthly planner size to the petite planner size as you guys can see it is a little bit of a difference and I can even show you guys with the 
8.5 by 11. So now you guys will be able to choose from these three sizes and I'm super excited to be including this into and bringing this into my shop because I've been requested this quite a lot. So um, and now I feel like it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to pick up some stickers whether you're in a really big size or a really small size planner. So I already started with that but let's go ahead and let's check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of April. They're, these are exactly the same stickers that I have in, up in my shop already but just in a smaller size. So we have the spending tracker. Let me just go ahead and zoom you guys in because it's pretty tiny. Um, we have the spending tracker. The debt tracker, debt snowball, first paycheck, second paycheck, third paycheck, fourth paycheck. Then we have our sinking funds, and these are all the April colors if you guys are wondering. And I did want to go ahead and also bring my washi kit. So I have the this flowers print as well as the brush stroke print and this is super tiny i love it then we have the weekly check-in that goes with the flowers print and the weekly check-in that goes with the brush strokes print but obviously you guys can choose accordingly as you guys know i always have all of my stickers a la carte and then we have the budget for the flowers and the budget for the brush strokes. Now, I do want to go ahead and mention that since this size is super tiny, I will not be able to separate the expenses between variable and fixed, which is perfect that I came out with these stickers right after I changed my, my format or added that second option. And the reason being is because it's so tiny, I would have to make the writing, the script, even more tinier, which I definitely didn't want to do. This is actually the same exact script as the 7x9. I just went ahead and shrunk the length. So yeah, um, even though there might still be an option for you guys to choose whether you want your expenses separated, I just want to go ahead and mention and clarify that that's not going to be possible just because it's super tiny. So even if you do get that option and you do choose it, just letting you guys know that it's going to be um, set up this way. So all of your bills and expenses are going to be together just because of the size. So I'm sorry about that, but there's just no way they'll be able to make that possible with such a small size. So that is for the April kits. And now I did change all of my main ones as well. So I'll go ahead and start with my washi. So we have our floral washi. We have our marble print. I just absolutely love these sizes. And the gingham. Then we have our weekly check-in for the coincides with the floral print, as you guys can see. You guys, If you guys would have seen last week's video, then you guys know. That's just what that looks like. And then we have the one that goes with the marble print and the one that goes with the gingham print. Then we have our budget kits. This is for the floral, for the marble, and for the gingham. Then of course our stinking funds and transaction log kit and then our spending tracker, our tiny debt tracker, debt snowball, first paycheck, second paycheck, third paycheck, and fourth paycheck. So that's what I have so far. The only thing that I didn't print out was I believe my variable income and my debt avalanche. Those will still be available. So next I want to go ahead and show you guys um, how it looks in the Erin Condren Petite Monthly Planner. So let me go ahead and bring you guys to this side. Okay, so this is how the April kids look in the Petite Monthly Planner. And guys, tell me this is not the cutest thing in the world. Okay, so we have our April kids right here which look exactly the same as they do for the bigger sizes. They're just now shrunken down a little bit. And then we have our first paycheck, our debt tracker, and I did also put in my weekly check-in, which surprisingly it did fit for expenses, which is really nice. Now, the flags are super tiny, as is the whole kit. So I, if you get this kit, obviously it's going to be really small to put. So obviously with my nails, I can do it, but it's a little bit difficult. I know a lot of people even use tweezers to get small stickers. So um, that's just a suggestion with that. And then I do have my sinking funds and transaction log and transaction log and what I did and I could do it since the kit was small enough I just got two of the little thin washies and just put the transaction log script up on top 
So that is how the kit looks in my Erin Condren Petite Monthly Planner. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what the May kit looks like. So this is what the May kit looks like. And I decided to feature the floral print since I had not done that for my last new releases. Look at this. This is so cute. I love how tiny it is, but I definitely think that you still have enough space to put all of your things because the the lines are exactly the same as in your deluxe monthly planner. It's just a little bit shorter, um, but I really like that. Okay, so that's how the May budget kit looks like. The sinking funds and transaction log. And I believe I also, yes. And this is how your weekly check-in looks like and your first paycheck. And I just put sort of a spending tracker in here which i think will look would go really well with the paycheck as you're tracking those so i wanted to go ahead and show you guys these i really really love how they came out and i'm super excited for you guys to check them out i've been getting so many requests for stickers for this specific planner as well as for the a5 so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up by the time you guys are watching this video these new releases are actually already live so go ahead and check them out Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.